Hey guys, Gwinnett here, showing you some matches from the Hipsters of the Coast Standard Popper event. Uh, this is a match between Malum and Za. Malum is playing the Mono Blue Flyer stack, and Za is playing um, what looks like a Bant Hexproof deck. Um, Malum is up a game, and looks like his opponent went ahead and um, chose to draw. And so Malum will play first. He drops an island. And back on his turn, Zop drops an Avacyn Pilgrim. Hopefully we'll allow him to accelerate into something here. Um, but once again, Malum has the turn two Frostburn Weird. Hard to beat that particular play for turn two. Only thing probably better than that is a turn two Flip Delver. And has a Borderland Ranger here. Didn't see this at all game one. Nice little 2-2 two -two plus the Mana Fixing, which for a three-color deck is definitely a nice feature. See if Malum just plays and just does draw go. And Zah drops the Centaur Healer, but it does get countered with an Essence Scatter. Interesting, seems almost like a different deck, well, much more of a, uh, um, I forget, the, the, a Selesnia build almost here, with, um, rather than playing out more as a Bant Hexproof. So it's interesting how, uh, kind of a, uh, it seems like the deck is a hybrid between those two strategies. So Malum hits for one here, and it has a second Frostburn Weird. And Zah's going to continue to hold his guys back. Um, did drop an Evolving Wilds. Malum's going to continue to beat in here. And Zah has no blocks. And Malum's going to go ahead and pump here. Um, getting in for a whole five points of damage. And then just leaves two mana up. Either for Think Twice or another Essence Scatter. Or just bluffing. Back on his turn, Zah has a Spectral Flight to go ahead and enchant his Borderland Ranger with. And then has travel preparations both on the Avacyn's Pilgrim and on the Borderland Ranger. So the Borderland Ranger is going to hit for 5. The Pilgrim swings in as well, dropping his opponent down to 13. And Zaz in a pretty decent shape now. Let's see what Malum's able to do. He does have the Mist Raven, though, to get a nice 2 for 1 off that Borderland Ranger. Even though the Borderland Ranger will get another land when it comes into play, definitely a nice. Mist Raven's a really nice answer um, against enchantments. Obviously, it doesn't really do much um, in the Hexproof matchup, which I'm almost beginning to think this isn't so much Hexproof as much as it is kind of a Selesnia build splashing blue for spectral flight and for deputy of acquittals maybe and definitely an interesting uh, interesting build here so he's got access to plenty of his man and all his colors replays the borderland ranger and finds a plains goes ahead and drops a simic guild gate um, doesn't have any attacks there i probably would have attacked him with the evison pilgrim would have been happy to make that mist raven trade there uh, malum there's no way he would have blocked there so that would have been a free point of damage three two points of damage for za all right, so Malum here is going to go ahead and play Hands of Binding. It'll allow him to uh, tap down both of his opponent's creatures this turn. And Zah has a Plummet to go and get rid of the Mist Raven, which is a nice two for one for him, except that it looks like Malum has the Negate to keep that from happening. So Borderland Ranger chooses not to block, not surprisingly. And Malum will pump, doing a full five damage and tapping both of his opponent's creatures down. Um, let's see if he's got a response. Does have a Seraph? That's a pretty good response. And uses his last travel preparations to make it a very formidable 3-5. Um, but it, he can go ahead and just swing in here if his opponent blocks. Let's see, his opponent has to block one of these guys because he can, you know, four. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, no matter what. Um, this has lifelink, so that might be relevant. Let's just see how this plays out. I could do the math. His opponent's going to go ahead and block here. Um, he can't kill it, so there's no reason to even to pump this guy, but he can do four, he, just three here and two there, but is that enough? So essentially he's got eight life, and Malum can only deal six damage, so this won't, this won't be fatal, I don't think, as long as I did my math right. Um, but he will go ahead and hit for the full six here. Oh, he's going to go ahead and pump here. I wonder why he's pumping 3-2, because he can't actually kill him. That's interesting. Not sure what that's... Oh, you know what he's going to do? He's going to kill off his own Frostburn Weird. Very clever, so that the Seraph never deals any damage. Nice play by Malum there. I don't think I would have seen that. So he, he so in case you missed it, he had the Frostburn Weird. He went ahead and made it kill itself. Um, so that this, so that the lifelink never goes into effect, and now he hits him for exactly five. Very nice play by Malum, and that is how he won the match. Hope you enjoyed watching. In closing, let me remind you, you can keep up with all my writings and articles by following me on Twitter at the username Gwynedd42. That's G-W-Y-N-E-D and the number 42. 
I also regularly publish articles over at puremtgo.com. Search for me by the username Gwened on that site, or find the link in the description of this video. I also maintain a blog now at writeradept.blogspot.com, and you can also find that in the description. Finally, if you enjoyed these videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel and post any feedback or comments. Thanks for watching.